Hi, this is Alan Shaw and welcome back to Strategic Planet. Well, what I want to do now is look at um, how you actually generate uh, simple data to, uh, to, to get you going. So um, you can do this uh, in Excel. Um, here is an example of a list of nodes that I've got. Uh, what you want is to first of all create uh, an ID uh, and then you can create a number of attributes or the labels associated with it. So as I said earlier on you can have uh, the actual names as an ID so they could uh, be in here but as you can see uh, in line 5 and line 16 I've got two mics, uh, one mic I've had to put to uh, mic 2. If I were to leave them both as mic um, they would be merged together and it would cause a little bit of confusion. So uh, um, I would be merging the mic uh, from the UK with the mic from uh, USA because there's no way that the uh, system can differentiate between the two. I always tend to use some sort of uh, numeric number to um, uh, attribute with my um, uh, node itself, but it could be alphanumeric as well. Uh, so it could, it could be anything as long as it's, uh, it's unique. So here I've got uh, my uh, list of uh, nodes that I'm going to um, uh, review. Uh, and then I'm going to, to now look at um, an underrated uh, example. So uh, I've got um, Frida um, doing something with Warren, Frida doing something with Daniel, Frida doing something with Ahmed, etc, etc, etc. So, uh, And I class these as undirected. Uh, so I've got my source, which Frida was one uh, and Warren was two. If I go back to the, the node here, Frida is one, Warren is two, Daniel is three, etc. Uh, there you go. That's the, uh, the the item that links it together. Now th there is a, a way of doing this um, through VLOOKUPs. Um, so uh, as long as you've got the um, uh, the, the node sorted out with uh, the the items and you've got your unique set of um, uh, uh, items here, you can uh, create the, um, uh, the the numbers via VLOOKUP. But I'm, I don't want to go through that sort of detail uh, in this in this review. I just want to look at the uh, the two examples of uh, the the edges and and the node. So the the key takeaway is it's got to have uh, an ID and a label. Um, and you can have a, a variety of other attributes to uh, to complement it. Uh, and then for your edge, uh, you must start with source, uh, then target. You, you can get away without actually putting it in, uh, whether it's directed or undirected, but um, I always tend to put in whether it's directed and undirected. And I'll show you why, because I've got some examples of uh, both of these being done in a directed and undirected um, uh, example. And then save it as a CSV file. So once you've um, saved both of these as a CSV file, then you're ready to go. One word of warning, though, I I've got this uh, all this data here in uh, Excel, so you can see my node, my uh, edge undirected, edge directed, which I'm going to go through a bit later on. Um, do make sure you save the, the, the spreadsheet as an Excel file, because uh, once you've saved uh, each worksheet here as a CSV, when you open it again, you'll only get that one tab. You won't get any more tabs. The uh, CSV only gives up one tab, okay? So uh, yeah, that's a, a warning. Okay, now let's look at um, uh, Gephi. So we wanna open up Gephi, uh, and this is what you'll see with version uh, 092. Um, this is what will, will come up. Um, these are sample files. Uh, this is what you've uh, opened up recently. Uh, and we're going to start with a, a new project. So click on the new project. And you'll see a, an empty uh, work screen to, to, to play with. Um, I will go through each of these a bit later. I'm going to, uh, first of all, uh, show you how you uh, import the data. So to import the data, top left hand corner you'll see data uh, laboratory so click on that and you'll see the following screen so this is where your raw data will come in you want to click on import a spreadsheet and look for your files 
So I'm going to start by importing the nodes. Uh, and I suggest that um, you do that uh, as best practice. It, it doesn't matter too much, and I'll, I'll explain why a, a bit later on, but I usually like to start by importing the, um, uh, the, the nodes first of all. So I click on uh, this and it comes up with uh, the, um, the screen showing what data I have to, uh, to import. Next. I'm not going to go through time representation in this particular video, and I'll come back to it later. All you need to worry about is the uh, information below. Um, so I want to include all of this in there, and then I click on Next. Okay, here is uh, quite an important piece of um, information that you need to uh, to bear in mind. So when you're, when you're doing your first um, uh, import and it's a node, you don't have to worry about the graph type. Um, and again, with the edges, you don't have to worry about these here. Uh, but if you were to have imported in your edges first, be aware that you will want to append it to an existing works uh, space. Now, that may seem confusing at the moment, but I'll explain why in a second. But let's just, first of all, uh, import the data. So I've got my list of nodes in, uh, exactly as it was in um, the, the spreadsheet. Now, you can do this manually as well, and I have um, left out purposely uh, ID 16. So if I, if I go back to my sheet and I go to uh, the directed, I can see that um, I've got a 16, which is Kendra. So I can, you can put in uh, another item by simply adding in a node. So if I click on add a node, uh, the label is going to be Kendra. And there comes Kendra. Now all I need to do now is double click on the other attributes and fill in the data. Let's say, let's say the USA. So I've, I've added in uh, an, another um, node just by clicking on the, the add node. Now, I want to add in my edges. So remember when I talked about um, uh, whether or not you uh, have to um, append to a, a specific workspace. What's happened now is that I've got two workspaces up here. I've got one and two. Now one, which is the, the one that you'd start off with, has nothing in it. So what's happened is that when I've uploaded the nodes, it's put it into a new workspace. So now when I want to import my um, uh, edges, so I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to start with uh, undirected. That's what you see. Uh, yep, I'm going to import all of that in. I'll click on finish. I want to append it to the existing. This is um, a, a little bit of a pain for me. Um, I wish that Gephi would have that as the default. And I'm not sure whether you can uh, adjust it so that as the default, because what would have happened is that uh, if I'd uh, uploaded it to a new workspace, I would have ended up up here with. Uh, another tab called Workspace 3, uh, and so my nodes and edges would not be linked. So here, um, the, the, the merge strategy is um, for the data to be summed. So what that means is that when, I, when we uh, look at the data, and you can see that one uh, Frida has communicated with Warren, uh, but then Warren has also communicated with Frida. What we're going to do here is add those together. So that, that's the sum, uh, um, and that comes up with a, a waiting uh, number. Uh, if we didn't um, want that to happen, what we could do is actually um, give a different option, like don't merge. I always have it as, uh, or 
in most cases we'll have it as sum um, because the data is there to be used. So that's what we'll we'll leave it up, and this is what's going to happen. The data has been uploaded. So now you can see in Workspace Two, I've got nodes and edges, whereas in Workspace One, I've got no nodes and no edges. So I can actually get rid of that. And just to show you through that again, if I were to import that data again, I've got here my nodes and my edges, sorry, nodes uh, and edges. Uh, if I were to import this in again, the undirected version, next, finish, uh, and I say it's going to go into a new workspace, you see, I've got Workspace 3 up here. Okay, that's Workspace 2, Workspace 3, but in the nodes, I've got no labels. So it's put all the data in, but it's got no, no labels in it. So uh, I'm just going to show you what happens if you'd uploaded your edges first. You can still upload the nodes. and I'm going to append it into my existing sheet, which is Workspace 3. And there you can see Workspace 3, the nodes and the edges. So that's overwritten what um, uh, was originally there. Then just like before, I can uh, double click onto the label and type in the name I want to use, which is Kendra. Um, female, and I think it was USA. Yeah. So that's done. 